Hello, hello everybody. Thank you for coming. Today uh, I'm going to talk about the Varicam. That's what you're here for. So Panasonic launched the very first Varicam 12 years ago. Maybe some of you can remember this. And with the first Varicam, we wanted to, to bring something new to the cinema industry. You know, it was uh, the, um, uh, the ability to do over cranking and under cranking on a tape camera. And with this new Varicam, we didn't want to do some uh, Me Too camera, you know, or some uh, just another camera. We wanted to, to bring something new. And what we did, you probably, you have probably heard about it, is this very special sensor with a dual native ISO. You know, the Varicam is like a, a camera with two film stocks, 800 ISO and 5000. And that makes the Varicam something very unique. And my part will be to present you the different possibilities you have with this camera uh, to use these two ISO settings, 800, 5000. We started two years ago, and since then we've made uh, quite a lot of uh, productions, from feature films to TV series, documentaries, live shows. A lot of major TV has uh, already adopted the Varicam. And we are quite successful with Netflix original series. Uh, there are already five of them you can see on Netflix. Uh, and we have five, five new series in development with Netflix. The first uh, uh, thing I we will uh, see now is, a part, is, a, is an excerpt of a documentary. And what I want to show here is the way that the Varicam was used. So, just to introduce the DP, the DP is a French DP, Daniel Dan Meyer. He's, he's made a lot of commercials, documentary, and TV series. So he made these documentaries. Vivre avec les loups, it means uh, to live with the wolves. It's about a shepherd who has to protect his uh, uh, sheep from the wolves with his two dogs. And it was shot in Romania. And just like many documentaries, you need to have big zoom. When you shoot animals, you, have to have, to have, you need to have big zoom. So if you want a 42 times zoom, you need to have a 2 3rd inch broadcast lens. What you can see here, it's an adapter that magnifies the, the image from the uh, 2 3rd inch lens to cover the Super 35 sensor. And this kind of, uh, of adapter, Okay, this one is from, uh, uh, you know, uh, IB Optics. It's a 2.65 times adapter. When you use this adapter, you, lo you lose uh, two and a half stops. So that's why a lot of people don't like to shoot with that. Generally, they don't like adapter because as soon as you put more lenses, you, you damage the, the quality. But the, the good thing with the Varicam is that you can push the Varicam up to 5,000 IZA, ASA, and then you, re you can recover the two stops you lose with the adapter. So in this documentary, it was very useful because there are a lot of shots at night. Uh, so at night, when you, when you lose two stops with a two, two and a half stop with the adapter, you need a lot of sensitivity. This was shot for TV. So it's not supposed to be screened on a very large screen, but you will see that it's a HD footage, but it's still very, very nice on a large screen. And it was shot mainly at 5,000 ISO and 8,000 ISO, because from the 5,000 base on the camera, you can go up and down a bit if you want to have a bit more of sensitivity or a bit less. But still, you have um, a very high sensitivity in, in a native mode, so without any electronic gain at 5,000. And then if you go a little bit up, it's, uh, it's uh, acceptable. So let's show the pictures. C'est ici, les chiots, les agneaux, les brebis. Avant même de les voir, le loup flaire et sent l'odeur toute proche de ses proies. Mmh. 
La bergerie, c'est le territoire des chiots. Et à Boyer, un réflexe de défense. Leur formidable chien avait réussi à façonner une terre où monde sauvage et monde domestique puissent simplement coexister. Ce soir, Vojtinar a laissé ses brebis en confiance à ses chiens. Ce soir, il est allé sur le territoire du loup. Il sait qu'il ne le verra pas, mais que l'animal, lui, a senti sa présence. Ni ennemi, ni ami, le berger s'impose à sa façon. De cette histoire se quitte dans le respect mutuel de leurs intérêts et de leur territoire. Les jours passent, ponctués de petites chasses, de nuits solitaires et froides, quelques odeurs familières et lointaines, quelques cris étouffés par la forêt. Se désaltérer avec cette neige fraîchement tombée et chercher, chercher encore. L'errance vient à bout de ses forces. You see what, what you can do with a, with a broadcast lens. It's, uh, I think it's uh, pretty amazing. When we announced with this camera that there was a, you know, 800 ASA and 5000 ASA on the same camera, people thought, that, okay, there must be a trick somewhere. If you, if you, if you have a nice picture at, at 800 ASA, there must be something wrong at 5000. Actually, the sensor was designed Uh, originally, it was designed to be a 5000 ASA sensor. And it was later in the development process that we added the 800 circuit. But at, eight, at 5000 ASA, you have the best condition for the camera. You have the best dynamic range. You have the best sensitivity, of course. You have the same log curve without any trick, without any gain, etc. If you compare both pictures, 800 and 5000, you will see the same color, the same contrast, the same dynamic range. The only thing that can uh, differ is the a bit of noise, what we call the shot noise. As you can see, it's, it's a noise that is very, it, it's totally random. There is no noise pattern. Because the noise comes from the light itself. It's not an electronic noise. When there are very, very few 
photons on the sensor, then you don't have the same quantity of photons on every cell on the sensor. And it creates this uh, noise. But it's a, it's a kind of uh, grain that uh, usually people who come from the film, they, they like this kind of uh, grain that is totally random. Now, uh, something totally different. It's a TV series. It was shot by Bill Wages. It's a DOP from uh, ASC. And this DP uh, has already adopted the Varicam because it is, uh, he has already shot two TV series with the Varicam and uh, a feature film that is now in post-production, The Forgiven, that was shot, uh, it's, a, it's a feature film about uh, Desmond Tutu, you know, the bishop from uh, South Africa, uh, with uh, Forrest Whitaker and uh, Eric Bana, so it's a uh, nice uh, casting. Now what I'm going to talk about is a Sun Record TV series. So Bill Wages adopted the Varicam uh, 35 on containment and then the Varicam LT. So why does, why does he like the Varicam LT? It's because you will see on the, on the next footage all the shots outside were at 800 ISO and all the shots indoor are shot at 5000 ISO ASA. So this was shot with a Fujinon Cabrio Okay, and Ronin and Steadicam. This was directed by Roland Joffé. And this is what he says. Wh what you can't see is what you get. So it's interesting because okay, everybody knows, you know, the, what you see is what you get. Uh, what you can't see is what you get. He said that because actually at 5000 ASA, the camera can see better than your eyes. So there are things that you cannot see and the camera can see it. But now there is an, another meaning, I mean, it's my understanding. When you see the picture, okay, you see the colors, you see the contrast, you see the picture, but there are a lot of things that you cannot see. Is It's how much time did it take to do this shot? It's how much money do you spend, did you spend to do this shot? And how much energy did you spend to do this shot? And this, you cannot, you cannot see, well, see it when you see the picture. And actually, the idea of Bill Wages is to shoot at 5000 ISO, not because it's dark, because he could have a lot of light, but the idea is that at 5000 ASA, you need six times less light compared to 800. So you save time on light setup. You have much less light. Um, the fill light can be anything. You can see, on the, for example, on this picture that this very small light becomes something interesting. If you have a lot of projectors, the, the, then that it is nothing. But with very few light, you can use a mix of natural light and artificial light and, and the, the light that is already there. And he also had a, in this pocket a very small light with a magnet that can, he put on the wall anywhere to, to do a fill light. And you save time, you don't have to hide the cables, you don't have to hide the light, the light stand. So you save time, you save money, and you save a lot of energy. And you also save money on air conditioning because, okay, it's, it's not your problem here, I understand. But when you shoot in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in the US or in New York in summer, it can be very, very, very hot and air conditioning is a real problem. So you will see on the next footage, that on the out outdoor shot, the picture is 800 ISO, it's very, very clean. And indoor, you will see that you, you get the same kind of uh, uh, color. And you, you will see this, uh, this sort of grain that, uh, that really looks like a, a film grain. And, uh, and then the story, it's about, it's in 1956, it's about uh, Sun Records, it was a, a label that recorded um, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, and at some point they all gathered in the studio to jam together and the, the, the series is about this story. So enjoy. This season on Sun Records. I dream of making music like that someday. Leonard Chess? Yeah, I'm Leonard Chess. Who are you? Well, it doesn't matter who I am. It matters what I got. You Elmo Lewis's boy? Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh! Hello. I'm J.O. Cash. Carl Perkins. This here's my brothers J.B. and Clay. We play the same kind of jumped-up hillbilly deals. Impressive boy. Well, I'm Mike Turner. 
this here is the king's rhythm. Hottest thing in the deal. We got laws here, boy. Guitar player, whoa, B.B. King. Maybe you can record him. Huh? I appreciate that. Thanks, those men. Colonel Tom Well, you have quite the effect on the little ladies. Think about what it'd look like with your first hit on it. If we don't hear Eddie all across the dial, we'll go back to the old deal. But if Eddie is all over the radio, you match Columbia's off. Party time, boys. Uh, I got me a girl waiting back home. Screwing your second job, boss. Part of helping me. You yeah. fooling with my sister? Oh, uh, what's your name? I realize the debt is now 1200 and you will have another 50 tomorrow, as promised. Who are you running from? What kind of trouble you in? Don't bull chive me. Get your asses in here. I have a current contract with Elvis that has a long time to run. 18 months, two weeks. So glad you could make it. You'll see plenty of Elvis signs with me. I guarantee you. Let's lay one down for real. Now, the next, uh, the next uh, footage we will uh, see is a French feature film. Uh, the DP is Antoine Eberlé from AFC. It's called Une Vie. It means, uh, I mean, the, the international uh, title is uh, Woman's Life. It's from a novel in this, uh, from the 19th century, so it's a period movie. And for this movie, they wanted to shot with a film. And then they realized that as it was a period movie and there were a lot of uh, candles and fire, uh, uh, they would have problems in the, in the low light. So they tried the Varicam, they did some tests, and they realized that the result was very good with the Varicam 35. So they chose the Varicam 35. They shot in AVC Intra, uh, 4K. So the footage is in 2K, but it was shot in 4K, with uh, Ingenieur Zoom. Uh, and some Cook lens, but what you will see is only ingenieux. Cook was only for the wide shot. It's a very, so it's, you know, French, uh, we, we, we like to do uh, uh, things differently. So th this film is a four by three format, okay? Uh, just like a uh, hundred years ago. And you will see that the post-production, the grading, um, the intention was really to, to make it look like a film. And uh, on some shots, I even added some grain with the uh, plugins. And you will see that uh, uh, the look is very, very specific with a lot of filters, very soft skin tones. Let's see it. Enjoy. <laughs> Julien, ton père et moi, nous allons l'accueillir dans notre famille comme un fils. Et quand moi, il me plaît, je le trouve très... Il me plaît énormément. Jeanne, s'il te plaît. Jeanne, s'il te plaît, arrête. Arrête. Je te donne pardon. Je te supplie. Rosalie, est-ce que Monsieur Julien est le père de ton enfant oui, mon Dieu n'aime pas le péché de chair, mais il déteste encore plus le mensonge. Et monsieur de Fauville est au courant de cette situation En lui disant, je ne ferai que, que provoquer sa peine. Si vous vous résignez, vous consentez à ce mensonge. Je ne peux pas être celle qui, qui fait écrouler tout ce monde. Le salut de l'homme est dans le pardon, Jeanne. Est-ce que vous pardonnez, Jeanne Est-ce que vous pardonnez uh, 
so as you can see, there was a lot. There was a mix of uh, 800 and 5,000 ASA. Uh, as soon as there is a very low light, you can see that. Uh, uh, and uh, what you can see actually is that you can perfectly mix uh, both settings. I mean, you don't see any difference when when it goes from 800 to 5,000. There is no big difference in the, the colors or the contrast. It, it mixes perfectly.